and welcome back. We're lucky enough to be hanging out with Katie Newcomb from the Humane Society. Katie, who did you bring with you today? <laughs> this is Dozer. Very um, energetic Dozer. Yes. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely a playful boy. Very um, loving. He's <laughs> three years old. Come here. He's three you years have old. So much energy. Um, border collie mix of some sort. I personally think he might have some like Basset or Dachshund or mm. something like that. Okay. I um, love his ears. Yes, yeah. like, that's, I don't know if you can see that on camera. That one's man. down, one's up. Yeah, it's, that's a selling point to me. I know. I love it. It's so <laughs> he's got like point going on. Oh, and oh he's the monitor. Yes, so. yes. So he's obviously got a lot of energy. What are the best <laughs> yeah. environments for him going to be? Um, I think he needs an active family. I would agree, <laughs> um, yeah. He definitely needs someone who's going to take him, you know, for daily walks, morning oh, yeah. and night. Um, but uh, he's a good dog, and he loves everyone he meets as yeah. far as, you know, kids, older people, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. um, he has been around other dogs before. He definitely prefers female dogs. Uh, okay. Um, but you know, that's just. Do you know his story, like where, where he came from? So he was actually found as a stray. Oh. Um, and so he's been with us for almost almost two months, I want to say. Okay. Um, but we've taken him to our golf tournament. We've had him at other events with other dogs and he did okay. great and they were male. Um, so I think it's more of just how many dogs are around and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. we do meet and greets. So if somebody comes in and they meet him in person and want to move forward, we can do a meet and greet with their dog as mm -hmm. well and just make sure it's a good match. Oh, that's an excellent idea. And yeah. that kind of goes along with all the things that you do to help people match up with a pet that's really going to fit with their family. Yeah, and our goal is, of course, to be a matchmaker and match mm -hmm. it up for you, but also for them as well. Yeah. Um, because we spend all our time with them. This yeah. is literally what we're paid to do. Right. So we know these dogs pretty well. <laughs> now, if you're not ready to adopt, there's other ways to help you, right? Absolutely. We could always use fosters um, right now, especially. Um, and we could use volunteers if you're not wanting to bring one home necessarily. Um, so you can come out to them and hang out with them for a few hours and go back home and have your life, you know? Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Now, let's go back to Dozer here. So aside from all the positive calls we've talked about, what will families or uh, potential owners love about him most? Um, I think his personality. He's very okay. outgoing, as you can see. Yeah. He's a very curious dog. His mind is, you know, working. Mm -hmm. um, and so he's definitely going to be a dog that's around. He's not going to shy away and go hide or, yeah. you know, hide or anything like that. He's definitely going to be a very involved dog and want to know what you're up to and be part of that. Yeah, so. yeah. that's awesome. So remind people if they're interested in coming to look at the pups or to volunteer where you're located. Yeah, we're at 3161 West Norton Road. Um, and once you get there, like I said, just ask us about some animals or what you're looking for and we'll match them up. Okay, yeah. awesome. Katie, thanks so much for being here. Thank you, guys. We always love meeting your pet that you bring <laughs> yes, for the week. Yes, those are so fun. <laughs> those are, yes, I yeah. hope he finds a good one. I, I think he's going to be a yeah, good one. Yeah, I do somebody. too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, coming up, check out more from Tom's visit to Dogwood Canyon. Yep, there's more to come on Ozarks Live, so don't go away.